Now, Clover Shaw may not have landed many of her punchlines, but she did differentiate herself on that stage by saying that she wouldn't get rid of private health insurance and she wouldn't try to go back to Obama's original deal with Iran. She would look to renegotiate aspects of it. So, Warren was cruising, Beto was fluent, Klobuchar was being her moderate self, and everyone else was just trying to figure out how to get noticed in the debate. I mean, Tim Ryan barely said a word. <laughs> uh, poor Jay Inslee, he spent most of the night <laughs> trying to order a drink from a bartender <laughs> who didn't realize he was there. Look at him, just like standing there at the bar, like, okay, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, can I have uh, uh, tequila? <laughs> Come on, dude, how are you gonna get the nomination if you can't even get a vodka soda? <laughs> and the night, the night seemed like it was just gonna be a bunch of people mostly saying the same thing. You know, all the Democrats had similar ideas until Lester Holt brought up health care and all hell broke loose. Would you replace private insurance? No, I, I think the choice is, is fundamental hey, to wait, wait. our ability to get everybody yeah, care for. Private insurance is not working for tens of millions of Americans. When you talk about the co-pays, the deductibles, the premiums, the out-of-pocket expenses, it's not working. <laughs> Why are you defending Americans private insurance? They together? like their private health insurance, by the way. It should be noted that 100 million Americans... I mean, I think we should be the party that keeps what's working and fixes what's broken. <laughs> I mean, doesn't that make sense? Oh, the short, bald dude who's also running for president just came out of nowhere and stole that topic and got an applause! <laughs> Even the cameraman was like, who's talking? Who's, who's, <laughs> who is this person? Where are they? This was amazing. Like, this guy came out of nowhere. It's like in the Royal Rumble, where a random dude comes in with a chair and is like, bat! And you're like, who is that? I don't know! <laughs> in case you forgot, that was John Delaney, all right? And actually, he was so feisty during the night, he got a few moments where he, like, got an applause and he made an impact. You know what he should do? He should say his name every time he gets the crowd on his side. That was his mistake. Because <laughs> otherwise, people are like, that guy's cool. Who's that guy? You gotta say your name, like a Democratic DJ Khaled. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah. Every time you end a statement, he should have been like, that's why I say pro-choice. John Delaney! <laughs> bing, 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 bing! <laughs> And I guess, I guess Delaney inspired everyone else on the stage, right? Because people realized, if you're gonna wait for the moderators to come to you, you were never gonna get your chance to shine. You had to push your way into a crowded field. And if there's one person who knows how to do that, it's the seven-foot giant from New York. The way that American citizens have been told that immigrants somehow created their misery and their pain and their challenges. For all the American citizens out there who feel you're falling behind, who feel the American dream's not working for you, the immigrants didn't do that to you. The big corporations did that to you. We need to have a different conversation in this country about guns, but also a different conversation about policing that brings police and community together. We've done that in New York City, and we've driven down crime while we've done it. Put the American people first. Hey, but wait a minute. All right, we are out of time. We're up against Neither a hard Democrats break, but we will have much more. Have been about Mayor the more de Blasio will have wait more. The commercial the is coming. <laughs> Yo, Bill de Blasio. Guy came in polling at 1%. But after this, I'm sure he blew it up all the way to, like, three, at least. <laughs> Did you see the way he was just jumping into other people's conversations, huh? That, my friends, is a classic New York subway move right over there. <laughs> you don't wait for the people to look at you. You look at them! You look at them! Yeah, that was a classic move. Basically, everyone was being polite, and he just jumped up. He's like, hey, yo, good evening, everybody. My name is Bill de Blasio. <laughs> I'm selling policies for one dollar. I got ideas on Iran for two dollars. I'd appreciate your attention. And if I can't get your vote, I'm just asking for a smile. 